Hi, how are you, Christian? Very good, how are you? Christian, I'm from uh, Volkswagen uh, uh, here in Wolfsburg and uh, we're doing uh, this uh, tour about uh, in Wolfsburg uh, to test drive uh, the new Golf E mm -hmm. and the new Golf GTE, right? That's right. So these are the additions to the Golf family, which is pretty big already, right? Right. So how many models do you have for the Golf now? Well, for the Golf, there is uh, several gasoline engines for one. There is the diesel, which is also known by TDI. It is uh, the e-Golf now. It is uh, the GTE in some markets, which is a plug-in electric hybrid, but a very powerful one with more than 200 horsepower. And uh, for certain markets, for instance, for Germany, we also have a CNG version and we also have ethanol versions for instance for Latin America. For Brazil and those markets. Yeah. Exactly. So the Golf is the most uh, popular car in Volkswagen and probably in the history of the auto industry, right? Because uh, 40 years and how many million of Golfs have sold? It is uh, more than uh, 31 million that have oh. been uh, sold so far. That's right. Yeah. And there's always this dispute, uh, dispute whether it's Corolla or it's Golf, which is more important. Yeah. Put into account um, that uh, Corolla is sold as a hatch and as a sedan and in our and case different names sometimes right and in our case uh, it is it is also um, uh, uh, available as a sedan but that sedan is called Jetta right yeah, exactly. therefore but the, the Golf, names, right? as the Golf it's uh, the most popular right. for the Volkswagen group at least Christian uh, um, thank you very much first for having us here and experiencing all the great things that happen around Wolfsburg. I mean, this is like really the house of Volkswagen, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually a home of Volkswagen. This whole region has four different plants out of the 106 plants that we have worldwide. And uh, obviously the, the town of Wolfsburg, it's uh, 120,000 people? Yeah, about 125,000. Mm -hmm. And more than half work for Volkswagen. Yeah, and they're different one in another way. Yeah, we, we say at least, uh, even if you don't work for Volkswagen, you might have a friend or family member in the region <laughs> that works for Volkswagen or one of its suppliers. I mean, it's also a lot of companies yeah, surrounding exactly. it. So a great uh, impact in many ways, more than economical and industrial, right? Like That's right. Is like the, the heart and blood of, uh, of, of the region. It's the heartbeat of the region, that's right. Yeah. So now we came here mainly to, to visit the plants and to learn a lot about this car that we're driving, the Golf E and also the Golf uh, see, we GTE. The Golf GTE. Uh, mm -hmm. So two new members of the Golf family. Right. Uh, watch, watch, uh, one is a battery electric vehicle, that's the one we're riding right now. And the other one is um, a plug-in hybrid, it's a performance plug-in hybrid with 204 horsepower and it's called the Golf GTE. Yeah. So the Golf family is, is growing and uh, it's, it's very important this car for, for Volkswagen uh, brand. How many variants are there for this uh, car? Well, for Golf we actually invested in every technology that we find promising for success in the world market. So we have identified, of course, the combustion engines, both gasoline and diesel. We've identified the electric engines, both battery electric and plug-in electric uh, hybrids. And uh, we also have, uh, for certain markets, for instance, Latin America, ethanol, uh, compliant versions and also CNG compliant versions of the gasoline engine. So celebrating 40 years of Golf, over 30 million units, so mm -hmm. this is the most sold car in the history of uh, automotive, right? Yeah, that is one of the most successful cars worldwide, that's right. Yeah. So uh, Volkswagen uh, did, didn't have an electric car, purely electric car till now. Why, why was that decision uh, taken until this time? Well, we wanted to make sure um, that we make the best product in the market um, at uh, the respective class. I mean, this is compact class, so if you consider in the United States, you can uh, lease 
and e up for 299 per month that is a very good offer in the market and we were just awarded to have the uh, most uh, efficient car also in the market with an mpg equivalent of 116 miles um, facilitate and, and have to get used to a different kind of vehicle uh, so why not why not make the vehicle which is one of the successful most successful in the world make an electric car and that's how we came up with the e-golf every panel every button that you touch here uh, can also be found in other vehicles so people don't have to get used to a different type of vehicle they just drive a golf it's only a different engine so the other thing that, that they have to get used to is like the way it treats drive this is actually more fun i think huh? yeah and uh, uh it is always about uh, likes and about beliefs so for one customer it might be diesel engine for another it might be all electric which is a very smooth very refined ride and uh, we are currently traveling here at 65 uh, miles per hour and you can hardly hear any noise there's no engine noise there's hardly any wind noise there's uh, very few noise from the tires and therefore um, this is very comfortable yeah i know we're here in the autobahn Mm -hmm. So is this part where we can go at whatever speed we want? Yes, uh, only the, the speed of this car is limited to 85 miles per hour. Yeah. And that's just to save, to, to manage the battery, I guess, right? That, that is why, exactly. Yeah. What are the other uh, unique components of uh, this uh, electric uh, powertrain uh, for, from Volkswagen in these cars, in this one and the GTE? Well, uh, the electric uh, Golf is another version of the Golf line. So every unit, whether it's the electric control unit, whether it's the, the steering system, which must also work in a standstill, the brake system must also work in a standstill, the uh, uh, air conditioning must also work when the vehicle is, is not on, so you can actually preheat and pre-cool your, your vehicle. Those are all uh, functions which are specifically meant for the e-golf but they have to fit in the same undercarriage they have to fit in the same uh, chassis that the golf uses and that makes it so unique because then you can use uh, common parts from automobile uh, production for the remaining set of the vehicle which saves uh, a lot of money and helps to maintain the price ratio okay uh, so with the battery pack that we just saw how, how they built it do we lose any cargo capacity in the car or, or space no. for the passengers? If you, if you look into the trunk of the vehicle, that's exactly your 350 liter Golf trunk that you know from your average uh, Golf as well. So there's no lose and that's pretty amazing because other manufacturers actually sacrifice space to put this uh, technology in the cars. That's why I said uh, our, our uh, target was not to be the first in the market but to be the best in the market. Yeah. And uh, so this is only being uh, built here for the rest of the world? This is only for now, for now uh, uh, built in, in Wolfsburg, um, but uh, it's, it is an MQB car. We can, of course, uh, extend the manufacturing also uh, to other places worldwide. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about the, the, the platform that this is built? Because that's the new strategy for growth for Volkswagen, right? Exactly. This is uh, built on not a platform, but actually uh, on, a, on a matrix. So we invented uh, a common toolkit for any uh, of our uh, vehicles, regardless the size, that have uh, a transverse mounted engine. And that is called MQB, which stands for Modular Querbaukasten. So this metric allows us to make a Polo, to make a Golf, or to make a Passat and reuse uh, those units. That saves money, um, not just in uh, development, but also in production, and therefore uh, helps to maintain uh, the good price ratio, uh, price value ratio. Yeah. And also this uh, platform is used for the other brands doing that within the uh, Volkswagen group? Correct, that's uh, also been used for Audi, uh, for instance. Even though Audi uh, also uses a lot of individual parts, there's still a common uh, set of modules that can be shared between the brands. Yeah. So the, these new um, cars, where are they going to be sold? In Europe and US initially, or what's the plan with that? Yes, and uh, also the mega cities in China uh, and uh, throughout Asia are interested more and more into electric cars. 
Uh, so that is also one of our growing markets. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time, for sharing the road. And uh, here we are in the Autostadt. And uh, even though sometimes we want to go faster, mm -hmm. and this one is limited to that, it's really enjoyable. I mean, you're right. Like the, the ride is really comfortable, quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, it's fun. And uh, one more thing uh, before we go. There are different modes to drive this car, right? right. So if you mm -hmm. can do like a little bit like a more control into yeah. control of the performance. Well, when, if, if you uh, take the foot off the accelerator, in a normal mode, the car will just uh, be going without any uh, uh, rolling resistance apart from uh, the, the electrical engine being engaged. But um, if you put it into, into brake mode uh, and you also take the foot off the accelerator, uh, the car would start recuperation immediately. So it's depending on what people are used to be driving, the car can do both. Okay, so now I'm in recuperation one there, or oh, level two. Right, there's three levels even, uh, which makes essentially, uh, which makes especially sense when going downhill, because then you would put it in the uh, hardest mode of recuperation and you gain back a lot of electrical energy in the moment when you're going downhill. Oh. And also, uh, the car has one system that teaches you or like gives you tips on how to be more efficient and recuperate energy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, because if you're coming from a from a different car, uh, somebody might be in, might be an expert on uh, how to drive super efficiently. But if you are not, then uh, the the trainer is actually a good method to learn how to get more miles out of your fuel. Well, thank you very much again, and we're going back to the uh, Autostadt, uh, one of my favorite places in the world, actually. <laughs> I love that place, and we spent uh, one day here. I wish we could stay like a month, because there's so much to see there. Oh, come back. Thank you. Thank you.